with all the YouTube and all the internet video that's going on, has it made it easier or more difficult to produce, for instance, in the beginning with some of the films where it, you know maybe you didn't have the quality you want, didn't quite have the right, you know, the perfect camera. Um, are people more accepting of the reality of, I want a good story, even if the production quality may not be Hollywood, Hollywood? That's a great question. Uh, it's interesting that right now, a teenager can pull up their iPhone and within five minutes, it could be seen all over the world on YouTube, right. whatever they film. And they're shooting in HD, you know, on their phone. <laughs> and, and we go back to the Canon XL1 that we shot Flywheel on and the camera's out of focus and, you know, it's it's 480p, <laughs> you know, yeah. with what we're filming on. And so um, when it comes to what you're seeing in a theater screen, people expect really high quality. When it yeah. comes to what people are seeing on YouTube, then they can tolerate, you know, things that are but even uh, but even the iPhone that shoots at 1080p is better than our first camera for our first video. That's right. That's amazing. It is. And amazing. they come almost free now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But that's you know, amazing. story though is still king. Yeah. Yeah. The story is king. Well, I would, and that's the thing. I think that as you look at so much of what what you guys have been able to accomplish, you had the right story. You prayed it over, you know, prayed it over and over and over and over, and allowed God to do what He was going to do with it. So, so okay. So you did for twenty thousand your first film. Then you yeah. went to facing the giants, and what was the price tag on that? The budget for shooting the movie was one hundred thousand, mm -hmm. and um, and we and, and and basically the way we were doing our first three movies is no actors got paid. There was no director producer fee for us. We were on staff at a church, mm -hmm. and so um, it was all volunteer except for just a s small handful of professionals that would come in and help us with lighting or audio or or you know, we bring in one professional camera. And we were shooting all our films with one camera at the time. And shooting uh, football wow. with one camera is hard. Oh, it's very hard. Do it over. Do yeah, it over. yeah, same point. Now let's film him catch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we already filmed him throw it, so. Yeah. Anyway, um, wow. so it was, it was tedious, but uh, we didn't know any different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and through the first three films, through Fireproof, shooting everything with one camera and all volunteers, um, it was a blessing in that you, you get over yourself real quick. Mm. Uh, we're not Hollywood producers. We're not, you know, we're not any anywhere near that level. But at the same time, just to watch just what the Lord did, to, ha to see people see the films as small as they are and to say, this changed my marriage or this helped me get rid of pornography in my life. I realized that was a giant I was facing or, or a, you know, I don't know how many businessmen have said, I turned my business completely over to the Lord after watching this film. Mm -hmm. wow. And um, and that, I, you can't put a price tag on that type yeah. of fruit. And so rather than, wow, well, how do I say it? Rather than chasing the artistic awards, mm -hmm. I, we were begging God, keep doing this. Keep, ministry keep doing, fruit was keep the goal. Doing, yeah, ministry mm -hmm. fruit, ministry, keep doing that. And, um, and, and again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade any of that that fruit, if you will, yeah. that changed lives. Uh, we could tell you story after story after story that's just priceless to us.